How's it going guys? Welcome to another video of Real Sim Gaming. Hope you guys are doing well and as you all know this game is just released at I think 20th of May and I'm making this video as an early access guy. So this video will help you when you have your hands on the game. Uh, in this video as the title says, we're going to see how to feed your cows to get 100% of their productivity in Farmer Simulator 23 Mobile or Nintendo Switch Special Edition. So stick to the end. If you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and check out other tutorials of Farming Simulator 23 and other farming videos, games, and stuff like that. If you are a gaming guy, this channel is for you. So without any further ado, let's begin today's video. So the things we need to take care of our farm or our animals uh, like cows is a total mix ratio or the silage maker that we are going to use. That one is the PF 2.24 plus from Farsian. The next thing we need is the from Anderson that is Pro Chop 150 that will be used to spread straw. So we have both implements here. One of them is the mixer wagon and the second one is the straw spreader. So we have to take them to our farms. So I'll skip it to the farm to make this video shorter. All right, so we are on the farm and first of all, I have to show you the animal place, animal pen, or you may say our farm for cows. There's one important thing that I want to let you know that you have to buy every farm you want to own, like a cow's shed. So in this game, I have bought this one. You have to buy this one as well. After buying, you'll see the icon has changed to buy animals. So the important thing is here, you can buy cows directly from here or you can take the animal uh, transport van to the animal shop. What this will do, if you buy from here, you will have to pay a little extra fee, but you will save lots of time. If you want to go there by yourself, you can save some money. So it's up to you. You want to save time or save money. As you can see, every single cow has a different price and different age. The next thing we have here is if you want to uh, load your milk on your trailer to transport milk. This is called the milk loading station. And you have to open this main door. If you want to feed something to your cows, you have to open up this big door from both sides. And like this one, you have to open both ones. So you can go through this and this is the place where you will get your slurry and manure to uh, transport your fields or your you may say slurry storage tanks so that's all about the farm we have lots of doors which i skipped so now let's get some cows for our farms the one at 200 dollars that one is only zero months old so yeah it's a, a totally a child cow which I would not like to buy. We're going to buy these ones and uh, around 28 of these. The max number. All right. The next thing we have bought the cars and next thing is to feed them. So let's get some how know what we are going to uh, feed them. Let's go to the animals. And here, as you can see, we have the uh, our cows health in their productivity conditions and the food they need so they can produce milk straw slurry and we have to feed them silage hay and grass if you want to get 100 percent productivity you have to uh, give them silage this will give us 100 percent all right the next thing we are going to do is to uh, get some silage bales into our total mixer ratio wagon or the mixer wagon that will transport them to the uh, cows barn if you want to know how to make silage bales, there will be a video on the channel as well. So if you want to know how to do that, stick to the channel and I'll upload that video as well as soon as possible. So you'll understand how to easily make silage bales. I've already made some hay bales and stored them here in the barn. So I'm just going to go and collect them. So I have some silage bales, uh, around 20 of them. I'm going to get around three. So now all we need to is get our tractor and the TMR or the loading wagon or the mixer wagon close to them as soon as we get close to the uh, bales we're gonna see an icon that will load bales into the mixer it will automatically start the mixing them the blades will mix completely automatically it will uh, start mixing them it'll gonna take a little time to mix them so it's almost there and we'll just go to the barn and feed them to the cows I don't want to make it 100% full because it's just a tutorial. So we are at the farm and as I told you before, if you have missed that, uh, you have to go through this bigger door to feed them, to feed your cows. 
you have to go through this drive through and as you go through it will automatically try to uh, pour some silage into the cow's shed this will automatically unload you don't have to do anything you just have to go through that so as you know we have just fed them the silage now we're gonna see how much productivity we are making at the animals so we have given them 18,000 liters of the silage and, and productivity is not started yet we have to spend some time we're going to give them another wagon of some silage bales to get 100% so we're gonna load them once again and it'll start notable mixing as I told you before then we'll move on to the uh, barn and unload it again you'll see it's an automated process you have to do little little stuff so it says there's no more space for the silage we have 100 percent uh completed the feeding of silage to our cows and you can see the animal it says 100 percent silage now the next thing we are going to do is get some straw bales those straw bales will do they will give an extra amount of productivity to us the method is the same, you have to make some straw bales and you have to collect them, you have to load them into the straw spreader, it will automatically uh, load them into it and it will load one at a time, so keep that in mind once you have gone to the shed, it will automatically unload it. Now we'll move to the shed, we'll take it to the cow farm and so as you can see it is spreading the straw under or you can see the bedding of straw under our cows, this is gonna give us a little more. One thing that Farming Simulator series or giants have skipped in this game is the water. You don't have to feed water to the cows to get the 100%. That is a big relief, I guess. So as you can see, I've unloaded straw and the silage to our cows. Now we're going to see how much productivity we are making. We go to the animals. All right. As you can see, we have making the 100% of the productivity for our cows. So that's it guys, hope you understand, if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and like the video, please comment down if you have any problems. This was the easiest way to uh, feed our cows, get 100% productivity. Thanks for watching, take care, see you in the next video, till then, happy gaming.